Good morning everyone. We are coming to you live via Facebook streaming, YouTube streaming and also via Skype. Each one of you is welcome to this live streaming from our studios in Trinidad. Sound and Inner Transformation Sutras of Vigyan Bhairav Tantra Sound and Inner Transformation I had mentioned life is an orchestra if there is an orchestra and we say life is an orchestra so that means life is the name of the orchestra there are instruments you can have separate instruments there is a range of percussion instruments there is a range of mellow instruments then there is a range of wind instruments and string instruments so these instruments can be individual. Percussion instruments is the bass, tabla, the drums, whether it is Congo drums, Bango drums, African drums or Indian, different types of drums, they are percussion instruments. Bellow instruments is organ, harmonium and things like these. Wind instrument is when the air is blown into the instrument and sound comes out. In this flute, clarinet are some of the examples. A stringed instruments is the last category in which we have guitar, we have sitar, we have tanpura. These are used for different purposes. But now with the science and technology, we have an instrument called synthesizer. And synthesizer is that instrument where all the music, sound of all the musical instruments is incorporated in one. If you have a synthesizer, you don't need set of musicians. With that alone, you can play the flute, you can play the organ, you can play the percussion instrument, you can play the sound of sitar as well. Why am I saying this? When I said life is an orchestra, then orchestra needs instruments human body is a synthesizer. How? Yes, it is a synthesizer. And when I am speaking of these things, I am speaking on the basis of the existential understanding, not a Hindu understanding or a Christian understanding or a Muslim understanding. Jesus said, I am saltishness in the salt. You can call water by different names according to your culture, religious beliefs or whatsoever it is. But what is important, not the name but the quality that quenches the thirst of an individual. Saltishness is the quality that makes a substance called salt. If that thirst quenching capacity is not in the water doesn't matter whether you put it in Quran or Bible or Hindu Vedas or Bhagavad Gita it is meaningless so there are certain things existential life is existential mind is conditional life is existential in the body we have different centers. Number one, when the fetus grows in mother's womb, it is connected 
through the through a cord that is known as umbilical cord and the umbilical cord connects the solar plexus or the navel of the child to the mother through that the child gets the nourishment and she fetus floats in placenta a fluid that is there in mother's womb that is why at the time of the birth after the birth that umbilical cord is cut and removed then for the first time the baby comes into the outer world and begins to breathe the sound that comes out the sign says it is the sound of sound which resembles the sound of percussion instruments drum tak 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 that is the sound this sound is the sound of a percussion instrument so the first musical instrument that the body provides is the solar plexus it is the base of the energy in mother's womb it was the source of energy through which you were being nourished and nurtured and afterwards it is the basic center below that is nafs from here the journey begins this center is known as manipur or manipurika there is a sound then comes the wind when you move from this navel higher up then there comes the heart center the lungs where there is breathing the breath goes out comes in you blow in blow you breathe in breathe out this is how the wind flows through the wind instruments flute when you are playing the flute you have to fill your lungs with the air and release it and when the sound goes through the wind instruments and there are holes that are controlled different ragas and notes are created this is the below that is the bellow instrument this center that i said the navel center is about inch or three quarter of an inch below the solar plexus or navel center navel center it bellow it works like a bellow like a organ it has a bellow whether it is a foot bellow operated by foot or by hand harmonium uses the instrument the bellow you play the the bellow with the hand and with that the air comes in and with the keyboard the sound by playing the different keyboards or different arrangements ragas and notes are created then wind instrument and string instrument is the highest it works at the level of the third eye and so and the thousand petal center there are strings a single inst- a string instrument then seven instruments and when you are playing sitar right on top there are certain very small strings so while playing the strings of the instrument the musician vibrates those strings now before the orchestra begins there is a vocalist and there are instruments first of all all the instruments need to be in a synthesis 
not that the note in a bellow instrument differs from that in the wind instrument or a stringed instrument. So the all the musicians they tune their instruments together to create sound. And if the instruments are not tuned, then what we get noise. So music differs from noise. Music means something that is pleasing to the ears. So in order to tune the instrument, the bellow instrument or a single stringed instrument which is known as in Indian music Tanpura is used and every instrument is tuned in harmony with either the harmonium, the bellow instrument or the single stringed instrument Tanpura. So in the same way, if life is, a is a, an orchestra, then your body is the synthesizer. All the stringed instruments, all the different instruments need, need to be tuned to create a pleasing music. A music, when it enters, it creates silence within you. So sound not only creates emotions, instead by changing the chemistry of your energy system, it helps in the process of healing. Your health depends on what kind of sounds you are exposed to and what kind of sounds you are generating. That is why when you enter a spiritual sadhana, you are asked to remain silent instead of uttering all kinds of unpleasant sounds. So classical Indian music is a mathematical precision, is a geometric structure, mathematical precision that can recognize this sound, that recognizes which sound can do what. And they have evolved things in such patterns. Different sounds will make you loving, joyful or aggressive. Various sound combinations create healing. When creating this sound, let's say, I'll come to the three basic sounds which every child utters for the first time. Irrespective, the child does not know that I am born in a Hindu family or a Christian family or a Muslim family or a Jew family. Naturally, child creates certain sounds. The first few sounds that this child creates, when creating this sound, are while you are lying on your back and palms touching the space below the navel will make you relaxed and the reverberations will reach the entire body. There are only three sounds that sounds that you can utter and all the other sounds are permutation and combination of these three sounds. There is a sound and there is a vocal. In order to speak, utter a word, you need the movement of the tongue. But in order to create these basic sounds, tongue movement is not required. The first sound is a. Uh, uh, just see there is no movement of the tongue. Oh, it is through 
the lips oh the sound the air is coming out through the lips without the movement of the tongue and the third is mm, these three sounds are basic sounds all other sounds are created with the movement when you say mummy the tongue comes into operation these three sounds when the mystics and these sounds are the cause of your sound the child is not creating the sound of a ah, but it is naturally happening nobody teaches him to say a sound but the child naturally say ah ma 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 pa there is a beautiful sanskrit is not a scripture in a sanskrit literature the author is writing the story of a king who is a warrior who goes on hunting and someone sh shoots an arrow and with the arrow the tip of the tongue is cut off the sound like pa fa comes with the tip of the tongue and when the tip of the tongue is cut the person cannot speak create the sound pa fa ba so through after that the let the composer the play continues but the author does not let the character speak these words these sounds because if the, there has to be a harmony you are an author writing something you must be familiar what sound is important and what is the, there has to be a consistency between the sounds when you are character creating the characters and what the character is supposed to speak so he doesn't let the character use three sounds pa fa those sounds so these sounds are created without the tongue movement when the tongue is used to mix tongue is used to mix these three sounds and produce all other manifestations of sound through various permutation and combination this thus you can thus you can create millions of sounds but these three sounds or the cause of the existence existential yes anything for instance thread and needle the sewing machine the scissors are existential in order to create any garment these are necessary whether you are creating a cap for going to the mosque or to the temple or you are creating a muslim garb or a hindu garb thread is a must needle is a must sewing machine is a must scissors is a must measuring tape is a must so these three sounds are existential sounds on the basis of this you can create the entire structure of your religious belief so there are organizations factories that create a particular kind of garb now during this corona pandemic 
we need the mask faces. Many garment factories who never made a mask, but they started creating the mask face. One of my friend who owns a garment factory, he met me. He said during this period, he made 300,000 mask faces to supply to the different like certain business organizations. They got their names of the organization embroidered or printed on the mask face. So understand this. What I am teaching you is existential. What you do out of that, I sell you thread. Existential. I sell you the needles. I sell you the scissors. What you use the scissors for, thread for or needle for is based on your understanding and the belief system. These three basic sounds a, o, m. Hindus created out of this the sound, three syllable sound om. And it is, I will not go into that for any reason, but it has said. It is the very, the very cause of the existence. When something is in movement, just as when the baby was in the mother's womb in the movement, and out of that movement a sound was created. So in the same way, when the planets are moving on their axle in the cosmos, their movement creates a sound. Whether it is sun, whether it is moon, whether it is this, whether it is that, a particular sound is created. And the scientific base analysis, scientific understanding is, it is the sound can be interpreted as the sound of Om. Forgetting that, we talk about the basic sounds. Out of this, we can create millions of sounds. These three sounds are the cause of existence and happen as the stars and planets move. These are the basic fundamental sounds. Entire existence which we call, Hindus call it as creation, Christians call it creation. God created the world, the universe, created the existence. That is what everybody talks about. Entire existence is reverberation. It, this is science. This is vibration. And the reverberation is the vibration of energy. Remember, where there is vibration, there is bound to be sound. When the waves are waving on the surface of the ocean, there is a sound. There is an first, when there is waves or reverberation, out of that sound comes in and where there is a sound, there is creation. So all these three sounds are the manifestations of these three fundamental sounds. These are known as root sounds. Look at the color television. There are only three, why three? Did it Hinduism made it or Christianity made it or Islam made it three sounds? In color television, there are only three basic color webs and using these three color webs every other sound, every other color is produced. When you are making the natural color, a green color comes in with the green leafy vegetables. You take out the juice, dehydrate it, concentrate it and from that. Then there are colors like black food color, the 
purple color comes out with the purple cabbage and to that if you add baking soda pinch out of that pink color comes out from purple pink color is coming out and when three colors are added the black color comes out so this is how the in color television only three color webs are there and using various permutations and combinations of these color webs the other colors are produced in the system of music the first basic sound is a ah. it is so not only in one language in stead across the world in all the languages we use the words like ama ma pa ma are extensions of the first sound that child learns if you utter these fundamental sounds they have different things happening in your body at the energy level these three sounds naturally exist in the system while all other sounds you can produce by mixing this is where there are basic ragas in indian classical music different notes by putting the notes we weave these notes and the vocals together to create a musical song while sitting if you utter this sound a uh, you will notice it carried the vibrations right across the body it starts just about 3/4 of an inch below navel and it takes right through the body because this is the only place where energy system as there is physical body there is energy body this energy body is comprised of 72000 nerve system according to the medical science in yoga it is called nadi 72000 the in chinese medicine it is called energy vortex this is the first center which is your navel it is known as the maintenance center of the body this is in yoga terminology it is known as manipur or manipur ka chakra in yoga even when you were in your mother's womb your maintenance pipe was connected right here with the mother's womb so this is the sound a uh, if you utter this sound a a a it is spreads right across the body these sounds have been identified or ascribed to different forms of divinity this is the maintenance sound according to hindus there are three aspects of the creation or three phases of creation brahma the creator it is said vishnu the one that maintains and shiva the one that destroys so the first sound is the maintenance sound because you are being maintained in the mother's womb and according to medical science all problems arise because of the problems with the soul with the stomach area so that is the, this stomach is the part of the body that maintains 
the entire human body, the health. This is known as sustainer among the three forces which Hindus call it. As I mentioned, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, something is created, then it is maintained, then it is destroyed. These, there are three fundamental processes. These are three fundamental processes of creation. You create something, like you buy a laptop, you create it, somebody created and you bought it. Now you have to maintain it. How? According to the manual of the equipment. Then, when its lifespan is finished, it is to be destroyed. These are three fundamental processes of creation. A is concerned with maintenance during the mother's womb and afterwards. If you want to maintain your health, you have to focus on the solar plexus. If you continue your journey of inner transformation, you have to start from this center. This is the energy, the source of energy and energy maintains you. Energy is stored in the solar plexus. From there it is distributed in different parts of the body. The energy and then the air comes through the, this is the combustion system. Energy and the air that comes through the lungs. There are 6000 lobes in the lungs area. When we are short of breath, we are not able to breathe. Normally, in normal patterns, we can, we use only 2,000 lobes in our lungs area. The remainder of the 4,000 remain closed. So that's why we cannot breathe as deep as possible. Yoga focuses on deep breathing. Meditation focuses on deep breathing. Eye is concerned with maintenance. So if you are seeking well-being, start off with ah sound. Your body will be maintained, energy level will be maintained. Energy level, when you, you are singing, those who are in the process of singing, they know that they have to practice the breathing patterns so that they can, while they are using the notes in singing, are lower notes and higher notes, then there is no breaking up, there is no distortion. When the voice begins to distort at the higher notes, in, in terminology of the music it is called Tarastan, the highest note, the seventh note. When you are singing something you're starting with a low note. Uh, you are using your breath. Breath takes you, your journey riding the breath. The power of your lungs, you go higher and higher and you sing at the highest note. Then the music that accompanies that music also supposed to go in the same way to the higher notes to match with the vocals. That is why before the concert begins, the vocalist looks towards the music, the musicians gives them an indication what he is going to sing. They have practiced before and then they start start up with this note. So he gives a note. Then there is, this is called in, in, in Indian music as Jugal Bandi. The, the Jugal Bandi goes between the percussion instruments and percussion instrument is the base for anything. So there is a Jugal Bandi between tabla and sitar, tabla and flute and any other, the wind or the stringed instrument. So the, between the vocal, vocalist and the musician there is a synthesis, a 
kind of a competition. So he plays one note through the vocal, the same note is repeated in the sound form through the musical instrument. This process is known as Jubal Bandi. It is sometimes done for the pleasure of the artist, for the pleasure of the audience. So these three fundamental processes of creation, I is concerned with maintenance. So if you are seeking your well-being, you have to start with the sound of A. Ah. There are those who simply use the humming sound, like bees humming. Sitting down, they are interested. And why the humming is done? Humming is done to destroy the limitations of who you are. Every individual has certain limitations. When you want to destroy your limitations means you are changing the form. You are bound by certain limitations. Now you are transcending beyond the limitations. You are creating the sound of So the nerves or the energy vortex <coughs> they carry the reverberations. If you utter U sound it will spread, each sound spreads in a particular way. The master musician and the mystics know how this particular sound is, is spreading in a particular way. That is why when we say a particular word Allah is word important? No. The word Allah is not important. What is important? The rising and fall of the sound Allah and La is stretched. La. This ah sound reaches to your solar plexus and it creates a synthesis. But our focus is because I am Muslim, so I must use the word Allah. You are Hindu, you are supposed to use the word Om. Om. Ma down destroys your limitations Allah then fades away so it destroys the limitations each sound moves in a particular way through the various energy vortex or the nervous nerve systems not nervous system nerve system this is something we have done we have done it on a limited way, but we can explore this in a big way. For every sound, we make you conscious as to which part of the body it touches. Which nari will become active when you utter a particular sound? Which part of your body will activate get more energy with a particular sound try with this sound as I said not as a Muslim as a human being create this sound Allah it goes down into your solar plexus oh. now it is going oh on top reaching to the thousand petal centers to the head. Om. Goes up and down. One way it goes up, next way it comes down to the solar plexus. Cycle is completed. Energy moves in all parts of the body. Energizes. Sound energizes 
when you know its movement, I am using the very rudimentary sound when you are meditating. I say, I am not a musician, so I cannot create a raga, a composition. I say, A. Hey, that is because I cannot sing. But I know which sound activates a certain dimension of your energy system. When a raga is played, there are certain ragas which are morning ragas. Shivaranjini. Then there is Lalita rag. Lalit. Lalit is masculine. Certain ragas are masculine. They carry the masculine energy and certain they carry the feminine energy. And then there are meters. The sound moves in the meters. The words, the vocals move in the meters. And the sound moves and the two have to be in harmony with one another. When you are asked to chant the, a particular mantra or a particular zikr, you have to create, use a particular meter of to recite the words and a sound to match with that. Only then your body becomes a musical instrument and life becomes an orchestra. It has nothing to do with religion. But I know which sound activates. There are certain ragas when they are sung. So if where the focus is on the first letter, sa, the do, re, ma, fa, so, la, ti, English notes, do, uh, there is a movie sound of the music. It shows when you say, when you are afraid, say this. That is how the singer keeps on saying this. So when a particular, there are two in Indian, the sargam, the arrangement of the notes, there are two sound, the lower and the higher. So the, how these combinations are used, but when they are used in a particular meter, woven with the words, they activate the whole system because there are three fundamental sounds and all other sounds are outcome of these. Experiments are being conducted how all sounds are created as combination of these three sounds, fundamental sounds. Three fundamental sounds creating three instruments creating these three sounds while other instruments mix these sounds just like your tongue is doing. What is the purpose of the bass guitar? It gives a bass. But so there are three sounds and three instruments that are mixing these sounds together just like your tongue is doing creating these three sounds to create the words. So music is created when the three basic sounds are used in combination and then the three sounds the three instruments are creating these sounds together and produce a sound. Sound can be used for well-being, for health by just uttering with certain raga, blood pressure can go down. I am not versatile in music, I know nothing of the music, but I can, when I hear a certain raga, I know where does it affect in my body. My body is the lab. When I put the food in my mouth, I know what different combination of spices it has. And then the different spices are added 
at different times to create a certain balance. For instance, there is garlic. Garlic is pungent. Onion is a sweet taste. Ginger has a different astringent quality, different quality. So when these three things, three basic spices are used, three basic ingredients are used in a particular combination, it gives a taste to the food to which it is added. In Chinese cooking, we use ginger garlic paste. In Indian cooking, we use ginger, garlic and onion paste. Onion sweetness, ginger sharpness and bitterness of the garlic. When you are tempering, if you add gin garlic first and onion afterwards, it will have a different taste. When these two are added for tempering together, it will have a different taste. If onion is put first and garlic afterwards, it will have a different taste. So a master chef knows this, these combinations. In the same way, the master musician knows when to create more bass, when to create less, when to act to accentuate this particular instrument or this sound to create a particular effect. The purpose of the music is to create transformation or transcend you beyond the limitations that you are. Your limitations of your body, your mind, your intellect, your psyche to transcend that. That's why a particular, and when a particular mantra or zikr is given to the person, it is just like the medicine. The doctor has given the medicine, it knows it is spectrum, that this medicine will work on these, these systems. And the same way, this when it is consumed properly or used properly, it will, it's wide, it's broad spectrum. This, the way the sound is traveling, the, the way the axis, accent, the focus is on a particular sound, particular vocal and that will create reverberations in a particular part of the body and the transformation will happen. But when you go, they are doing like a parrot. Whether you go to a Hindu temple or a Christian temple or a Muslim mosque, all of them is doing shaking forward that is considered to be very important they must do it like this whether you are going to a gurdwara they are reciting the the japji sahib the anything but they are doing mechanically without understanding nothing happens When Nanak says, Ek Omkar Satnam, Ek, One, Omkar, that existential sound, Satnam, Sat has two meanings, truth, and Sat means essence, lime has essence, but it has no truth. So the God has the essence, is the essence of the existence as well as the only truth. So he says, Ek Onkar Satnam. Then Akal Puruk. A means no, Kal means time, beyond time and space. Puruk, the energy field. And when you are alone, the fear is only of the other. Nirbhaya fearless, nirbhaya without any prejudice, jealousy, and how does it come into existence? Out of his own free will, Ajuni Saiba. How one can attain to that? By the grace of the Master. This is the Mool Mantra. Ekonkar Satnam. 
एक ओंकार सतनाम कर्ता पुरुख निर्भव निर्बैर अकाल मूरत अजूनी सैभव गुरु प्रसाद जप देन एक्सप्लेन द क्वालिटीज ऑफ दिस आदि सच वॉज ट्रू इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द क्रिएशन विल बी ट्रू इन द डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ द क्रिएशन आदि सच जुगादि सच इट इज ट्रू नाउ है सच एंड इट विल बी ट्रू हो सी बी सच and that's how it goes on if you understand this you can drown into the that harmony ek omkar sat naam karta purukh nirbhav nirbhay akal murat ajuni sabham gur prasad jap aadi sach jugaadi sach hai bhi sach nanak ho si bhi sat chupai chup na ho vai je lai raha livtar भुखिया भुख न उतरी जे बन्ना पुरिया भा सहस्यान पालक होई त इक न चले नाल नाउ द इंपोर्टेंट लाइन कम्स किव सचियारा होई ये व्हेन विल देयर बी अ डॉन ऑफ अवेकनिंग किव सचियारा होई ये किव कोड़े टुट्टे पाल व्हेन विल ब्रेक द वेल ऑफ ईगो किव सचियारा होई ये किव कोड़े टुट्टे पाल now the answer come this is the question when there will be a dawn of awakening when the veil of when the veil of ego will vanish dissolve hukum rajai chalna nanak likhya nal those who follow the words of the master hukum the law there is an existential law everything is happening in a particular way if you are flowing with that there will be harmony there will be bliss if the people who are traveling driving on the road they are not following the the law that is their law of transport law of road there will be chaos hukum rajai hukum means that existential law not any the law made by the court or by the government it is the existential law hukum rajai chalna nanak likhya nal nanak says follow the existential law the sound how the sounds are created how when the sound is to be recited and how when these sounds come in a different com- combinations what kind of effect they create on your consciousness and that is the only way transformation is possible you can transcend beyond the boundaries of the finite to infinite known to unknown limited to unlimited only this much for this morning until we meet again take care and do have a pleasant day